Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Monday, August 19, 2024, The Young and the Restless airs today. Michael gives Victor information, Summer scolds Kyle, and Chelsea and Adam decide. Atra questions Kyle about how badly he threw her under the bus at the athletic club. Nate is curious as well. Audra is informed by Kyle that this is Glissade's private matter. Audra moves aside with Kyle and apologizes to Nate. They accuse one another of trying to sabotage the other. She's curious to know his exact words to Victor. Kyle is adamant that they discuss the custody dispute with Summer. Not everything revolves around her or Glissade. Audra hopes that he isn't taking advantage of her. Kyle makes the point that she was the one who invited Victor to a private meeting, but left him out. They must put an end to the mistrust. Summer shows up and apologizes for interrupting, but she has to have a private conversation with Kyle. Audra tells her that there are some things that both of them should make clear. Summer tells Audra that she doesn't have anything to say to her and isn't there to talk. Audra is upset that she is involving her in their custody dispute for a boy with whom she has never had any contact. Kyle is asked by Summer, what did you tell her? Kyle questioned Audra about what may have agitated her. Summer would like not to have to consider Audra. She should give up attempting to hold Audra accountable for her custody problems. Unless you want me to be, she is not a problem for her. Summer requests another polite, private talk, but Kyle steps in. Audra returns to Nate, wishing them success, and he remarks, You've got to know this is not going to work out, right? When Michael walks into Victor's office, they jokingly discuss whether or not to reinstate him. Victor is interested in knowing if Michael has anything negative to say about Billy Abbott. Billy, according to Michael, has been cleaning his nose. After looking under every stone, he has found nothing related to his previous indiscretions, and since he is currently dating Chelsea, his personal life is perfect. Victor finds it annoying because nothing is new. Michael claims to have discovered something, but it has nothing to do with Billy specifically, and he doubts Victor will find it interesting. On the patio of crimson lights, Chelsea is informed by Billy that he heard her in the park. It's obvious that she is hiding something from him. He only heard her feeling bad about fighting with Adam, she claims, Billy begs her to just tell him since he can sense this secret is eating her up inside. Although Chelsea adores what they have, she is unable to handle this at this time. Billy is upset that he doesn't have enough faith in him to be vulnerable with him. Chelsea says she needs to go since Connor is upstairs. Billy is grateful for it, but she can't stop feeling this way on the inside. They need to discuss it. Not right now, she says. Billy queries, when? Chelsea gives long-winded justifications for Connor's treatment. Billy discovers she doesn't have time for them. Perhaps Chelsea does need a break, she admits. Her son needs to be her first priority. Billy says, but you're not going to be able to avoid this forever, and gives her son space. Billy can see that she's breaking down inside from the stress of having to keep this a secret. She must be aware that's not ideal. She lets out a gasp, I apologize, Billy. I just can't handle this at this time. After giving him a kiss, she leaves. Sally tells Adam, no more deception at his place. She wants him to explain what's happening since she senses something is wrong. She wants Adam to stop gaslighting her when he plays the fool. She is aware of what he is withholding from her. What happened that made Chelsea feel so bad about that one night, Adam? Adam maintains that terrible things were spoken by both parties that evening, and he was a total jerk to Chelsea. He's moved on and hopes Chelsea will follow suit. He shifts the subject to their concerns regarding Connor. Sally is aware of how challenging this has been. Adam hasn't been as attentive as he should have been, and he knows he's concerned her. He's attempting to grasp this. Will you kindly believe me? Sally just can't get rid of the impression that he's telling her lies. Why would he lie to her? Adam asks. Sally claims that there was much more to what she heard at the park than what he is stating. Adam claims that Chelsea is having trouble letting go of her guilt. They must rewire themselves and relearn how to raise Connor. 
It's a lot, and she worries that they'll do something incorrectly and have a setback. Billy's persistent badgering of her with his doubts doesn't help either. Sally, please tell me you won't succumb to Billy's paranoia. Summer screams that Audra is magnificent at the jazz lounge. Kyle reminds her that they were supposed to have a polite discussion. Summer expresses regret for the direction their last chat took. In addition, Kyle apologizes for his response. He has a point, and Summer has been considering some of what he said. They are skilled at setting each other off. Although Kyle claims he was genuinely attempting to reach an understanding, she started making threats. Summer surmises that he isn't yet ready to let Audra go from his life. Nate believes Audra and Kyle's partnership is doomed, but the two of them have potential, he says in the dining room. With a smile, Audra expresses her dissatisfaction with their cooperation with Kyle. All she needs is some time to learn how to take advantage of it. As far as he can tell, Nate believes Kyle doesn't trust her, and he probably went behind her back to reiterate that to the mystery investor. According to Audra, one of the terms of the agreement is that she and Kyle must get along amicably. Why is the investor so determined to keep him around? Nate thinks. Audra surmises that it's because he was raised in the cosmetic sector. It's not going to work, she thinks, but he's attempting to persuade her to tell who her investor is. Nate is aware that Victor Newman is who it is. What makes him think that way? Audra asks, Victor, according to Nate, would love nothing more than to support the business that eliminates Javit. He is aware of his tactics, which involve targeting the weak point. Jack's weak point is Kyle. In whatever Victor has in store for him next, Kyle is a pawn. Kyle asks Summer in the jazz lounge why she is unhappy with Audra. Summer despises her and finds it intolerable that she would be around Harrison. Why does she distrust her so strongly? Kyle wonders. Summer is baffled as to how he can. That's not about her, he responds. Summer reminds him that she already betrayed him. She doesn't have all the information. Kyle says, it was complicated. It's never easy with her, according to Summer. She is aware that Harrison shouldn't be around someone who is so unreliable. The fact that he is blind to it annoys her. Why would he insist on doing business with someone who has betrayed him? You don't trust her either, do you? She says, squinting her eyes. Audra wants to share some private information with Nate in the dining room. Are you promising that it won't go past this table? Nate queries her if she truly believes he would violate her trust. Victor Newman is Audra's hidden investor. She assures him. She was excited at first, but she isn't happy with the direction things seem to be going. It's all not good. Michael says, I did some research to figure out why Jill gave control to Billy so quickly. In Victor's office, he learned that she and her brother Snapper are receiving medical attention for heart problems in London. That saddens Victor to hear that. Michael believes it clarifies why she gave her son authority. Victor believes she is putting him to the test and wishes she had given it to Lily. Billy's father did not teach him business savvy. Michael queries Victor's intense interest in Billy and Chancellor Industries, questioning whether he intends to take it away from him. Victor thinks he won't have to. Billy will fail on his own, but he'll eventually step up to preserve Catherine's legacy. Like a dark knight on a white horse, or a white knight on a dark horse. Smirks Michael. With you, it's difficult to know. Victor goes on to explain that he will give Nikki leadership. Given how close she was to Catherine, Michael believes that's ideal. Michael pleads, please tell me you're not about to weaponize Jill's medical condition against her own son, pointing out that he came up empty-handed when he tried to uncover dirt on Billy. Sally knows that Adam is hiding something from her in his house, but he won't let her in. He invited her to move in so they could be closer, but she has felt much more cut off from him than when they were living apart ever since. Adam claims that hearing that kills him. It means the world to him that she is here. All I want is for you to believe me. Sally sobs. Yes, I do. However, I don't. She is at a loss on what to do. Adam declares his love for her and assures her that things will improve. Sally queries whether she should hang around for a miraculous improvement in the situation. Is that what you anticipate me doing? 
Taking her purse, she walks out. Adam frowns while she closes the door. Adam says he could have picked up Connor and thanks Chelsea for bringing him over to his apartment. The child needs a change of scenery, according to Chelsea. Adam queries what transpired with Billy as soon as they enter the kitchen. Chelsea claims that she shoved him away once more, harder this time and nearly to the breaking point. The only way to get him to stop, she informed him, was to give her some space. She can't carry on like this. It's detracting too much from Connor in terms of energy and attention. She cannot allow that to occur. She cannot continue to worry about this secret being revealed on a daily basis. I'm at my breaking point. With Sally, Adam has the same feelings. He believes that if Billy would just shut up, it would benefit everyone. Kyle informs Summer in the jazz lounge that his father did nothing to stop his mother from firing him. Given his background in cosmetics, he was the ideal spouse for Audra, so why wouldn't he accept a fantastic job offer? We don't have to be friends. All we need to do is collaborate. As Summer notes, if they don't trust one another, they can't accomplish it. Why is he holding out on this, she queries. He claims that the position is ideal for him. Summer believes that this is not as simple as he is making it seem. Audra tells Nate in the dining room that she believes she could handle the matter. Manage Victor Newman, he asks with a laugh. Audra thought it was the ideal chance to collaborate with Victor. She would inherit it from Tucker and get to operate her own company. She can now see that it's only about Victor personally. She doesn't want to get sucked into a family conflict when her entire career could depend on it. Michael is given the task of gathering as much information as possible about Jill's condition in Victor's office. His spouse ought to be aware of her sister's situation. Michael sighs that he'll see what he can do, but he's hesitant to exploit the family link. Oh, so we're all good, he queries. Victor replies they'll talk about it if he brings him any helpful information. Billy finds out from Sally in the park that Adam was in charge of the party line. He claims Chelsea is finding it harder and harder to contain herself. She has limited time to continue doing this, Sally claims that she was aware of something Adam was withholding from her even in the face of his protestations. She is over it. She's tired of attempting to decipher their meaning when they refer to that one night. You think they're keeping something from us, don't you? Sally queries. He encourages Chelsea to stop torturing herself over this at his apartment. Chelsea is unable to resist. Billy grows increasingly suspicious the more she manages to elude him. What transpired with Sally? She queries. Adam claims she is familiar enough with him to detect his deceit. He bemoans the fact that Billy's questioning has her heated up. They need to figure out how to move past this permanently. According to Chelsea, they currently have only one option. Adam declares, No, no. Chelsea said they attempted, but were unable, to act as though it had never happened. Adam claims they can't give in since it will ruin everything. Billy is important to Chelsea, and she can't let him go. There is just one choice. We must speak the truth. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.